welcome back students so this is the third series of your bahadu chemistry i'll be I'm, as i said till now we have done most 10 numericals so we are doing the 11th numerical and i'll be doing like the 16 numericals from bahadu chemistry so that all the concepts will be useful for your cbsc je as well as neat today let us read what has given to us electromagnetic radiation of wavelength 242 nanometers is just sufficient to ionize the sodium atom okay so 242 nanometers wavelength is used to ionize sodium atom itself calculate the ionization energy of sodium in kilojoules per mole right so this is a sum so what should you remember first of all e uh, photon like ionization energy i need to calculate let us write the formula so e by photon is equal to ionization energy of sodium what is it equal to basically this energy that energy is the energy this we comparing between these two because it is that energy only you know which we take out in the electron from the outermost shell fine so basically e photon is what it is nothing but h c by lambda now substitute the values 6.626 into 10 to the power of minus 34 into velocity is 3. 3 into 10 to the power of 8 divided by what is lambda? It is nothing but 242. Convert this now nanometer converted into meters. Nothing but 10 to the power of minus 9. I get an answer of E is equal to almost 8.21 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joule per atom. Now the same thing if I have to convert into kilojoule. What will I do? I'll multiply the same answer. With 10 days per of minus 3. Now this becomes kilojoule per atom. Fine. Suppose if I have to calculate for one mole the ionization energy of sodium, the set they asked me to kilo calculate kilojoule per mole, but this is kilojoule per atom. Now to convert this into kilojoule per mole, what should you do? Whatever answer you get in this way, 19. Okay, into 10 to the power of minus 3. You multiply with one mole. That is our gradual number, 6.023 to 10 to the power of 23 kilojoule per mole. Finally, you get an answer that is per mole. This is your answer. So this you get because the last minute kilojoule per mole. First I got joule per mole. Then I multiply with this. I got kilojoule per atom. Then I multiply with one mole. I got kilojoule per mole. The final answer I'm writing is equal to 494.48 kilojoule per mole. Okay, this is your answer. Simple, isn't it? Yes, this is all we have to do. Now let's come back and do one more numerical Bahadur chemistry, right? So here, what do they give me? A 25 watt bulb emits monochromatic yellow light of wavelength 0.57 uh, uh, mu microns. Okay. So here, I need to calculate the uh, rate of quanta per second. Find the rate of quanta. Now I need to find the rate. Let's see how to do. Twenty five watt bulb. This it. Fine. So again, the same uh, concept. Basically, your energy only we are speaking about. Let's start with that formula. So what is the formula? Is nothing but E by photon. E by photon is equal to h c by lambda. This is the same procedure. You can use it. So I am trying to make it easy. Substitute the value of h now. Minus thirty four. Velocity of light. 3 into 10 to the power of 8 divided by lambda values. How much? 0.57 mu microns. Now convert this into when you multiply into uh, 10 to the power of uh, minus 6, you convert it into meters. So finally, what do I get? I get an answer of uh, 34.86 into 10 to the power of minus 20 joules. This is also first. Now, so they asked me what is it? 25 watt monochromatic light. Now write down what is equal to number of photons emitted by second into e photon. Okay, so uh, what is that? Uh, how much did they give me? Okay, let us write that. What is equal to twenty-five joules per second? So number of photons emitted. Now I need to calculate number rate, isn't it? So number of photons emitted 
is equal to so now photons total quanta i need to calculate so how many what is that what that is nothing but 25 divided by this that means this what divided by the energy that is 34.80 into 10 raised to of minus 20 okay how much do i get i get an answer of 7.17 into 10 raised to of 19 because 20 when it goes above okay one decimal so i get an answer of 19 second in notes this is your answer okay number of photons because how much ever what from that what we have taken this and divided so we have got that answer so this is your numerical let's come back and do one more uh, numerical in bahadur chemistry very interesting isn't it yes so here what do they give me all the uh, basically all the varieties are covered in this fine so the, what do they give me calculate the mass of a photon of sodium light having wavelength 5,894 5, angstroms and uh, velocity is 3 into 10 to 8 meter per second Planck's constant also is given to me right so done so now what should I do I need to calculate what mass of photon so let us write what what data is given to me lambda is 5894 angstroms convert this immediately into <coughs> your meters 58 one, one angstrom is equal to how much into 10 raised per of minus 10 meters so let us write that also one angstrom is 10 raised per of minus 10 meters what is velocity given to me it is given 3 into 10 raised per of 8 meters per second so mass of photon what the formula mass is equal to h by c lambda okay so this is 6.6 .6 into 10 raised per of minus 34 velocity is 3 into 10 raised per of 8 into 5894 5, 8, into 10 raised per of 10 so mass is equal to when i solve this i get an answer of 3.73 into 10 raised to minus 36 kg that's it this is the simplest numerical again so because we've already uh, studied the form formula isn't it e is equal to h nu so h nu is c by lambda and that from that formula i picked up this so let's come back and do one more numerical from Bahadu chemistry. So here what they give me show the radius of second shell of hydrogen atom. Okay, uh, uh, is almost four times the first cell. Okay, gradually from that H new concept we are going into because I've done all the combinations from that. Now I'm going into the uh, Bohr's uh, hydrogen spectrum. <coughs> show that the radius of second shell of hydrogen atom is all is almost four times the first shell so how should i solve this okay radius is said fine what is this formula we have rn is directly proportional to n square now n is the num the shell which we shell first shell second shell like that so what do they say r1 is directly proportional to one square because first shell four times is said so the radius according to this formula r1 is equal to one square fine r2 is equal to r2 is directly proportional to two square so now what is r2 is equal to 4 into r1 because they said 4 times a first shell so 4 times of first shell that is 4 r1 simple isn't it the simplest numerical first because show that radius of second shell <coughs> this one is almost 4 times of first shell see radius of second shell is almost 4 times of first shell simplest numerical right so let's come back and do one more numerical so here what do they give me they've given me the ionization energy of helium plus is 1.96 into 10 raised per of minus 18 joule per atom calculate the energy of first stationary state of li plus 2 okay i need to calculate it okay what do they give me they've given me <coughs> energy for helium let us write that ionization energy even of helium even of helium even for helium how much uh, helium is how much that is equal to this it it is equal to even or even uh, of this one okay let us say so even of helium energy of helium is equal to energy for okay it's not right of four okay energy for helium is equal to energy for hydrogen into z square okay right so uh, this this one we've learned now how much is this equal to e1 into 4 now let us write for lithium e1 for lithium is equal to e1 for hydrogen into z square this is equal to how much e1 into 9 
fine so therefore even for lithium so how much even for helium even for helium into 9 by 4 if I take the ratio of this this becomes 9 by 4 which comes to 19.6 into 10 raised power of minus 18 into 9 by 4 because they have given this energy of it. So when I solve this, I get energy equal to 44.1 into 10 raised power of minus 18 joule per atom. Okay, right. For, so this is how you are going to do the numerical. I am trying to do different varieties of numericals. As I said, this will be useful for your CBSC, useful for your JE as well as NEET exam. So let's come back and meet with the next set of numericals. So as I said, I will be doing 60 numericals like this students. Thank you for watching.